Hello. Today's story is The Fidgety Itch, written by Lucy Davy, illustrated by Cats Cowley. Down beneath the frou frou trees, Timkin was gleefully gobbling his cheese when something began to bother his knees. was only a niggle, the teeniest titch, but that fidgety feeling grew to an itch. Oh, cried Tiny Timkin, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch. It naggles and niggles like fleas with giggles. It's really a frightfully feverish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Feather McDoo was cruising the sky. She flew straight down on hearing the cry. Don't worry, she said. I'll scratch your scritch. And so she did. Feather tweezed Timpkin's knees while Timpkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou frou trees. But soon came a niggly, fidgety feeling. Oh, cried Feather McDo, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch that jiggles and tickles like porcupine prickles, a pootingly, peevishly, pepperish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Possum Pie was licking his thumb, savouring a frou-frou plum. Don't worry, he said, I'll scratch your scratch. And so he did. Possum scratched Feather's back, Feather tweezed Timkin's knees, and Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou-frou trees. But soon came a niggly, fidgety feeling. Oh! cried Possum Pie. I've got an itch, a terrible twitch. My tail is all tweezy and feathery sneezy, a dreadfully dynamite devilish, devilish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Hedgehog was sniffling and snuffling a snail. He heard Possum cry for a scratch of his tail. Don't worry, he said. I'll scratch your scratch. And so he did. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees, and Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou frou trees. But soon came a niggly, fidgety feeling. Oh, cried Hedgehog, I've got an itch, a terrible twitch that woozes my toes like nobody knows, a totally teasingly ticklish patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? Just at that moment, Fuzzy O'Hare came swanning and swaggering, hopping with flair. Don't worry, he said. I'll scratch your scratch. And so he did. Fuzzy tweaked Hedgehog's feet. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. Feather tweezed Timkin's knees. And Timkin gleefully gobbled his cheese beneath the frou-frou trees. But soon, a fidgety feeling niggled. Oh, cried Fuzzy O'Hare. Now I've got an itch, a terrible twitch, a bubbly, fizzly, twingy, twizzly, horribly, hiffly, howly patch. Oh, please, could somebody give me a scratch? But all was quiet. Nobody hopped or swung from the tree or sniffled and snuffled, or flew on the breeze to scratch poor Fuzzy's itch. It's quiet, so quiet. And so, the fidgety itch just grew, till Fuzzy cried out, Oh, what can I do? It's sure to explode at a feverish pitch. Oh, please, can somebody scratch my itch?
just then. There came a teensy sound as Timkin dropped his cheese on the ground. I'm sure I can reach if we shuffle around. And so they did. Then Timkin twitched Fuzzy's itch. Fuzzy tweaked Hedgehog's feet. Hedgehog trailed Possum's tail. Possum scratched Feather's back. And Feather tweezed Timkin's knees beneath the frou-frou trees. And ah, the animals sighed. At last their itch was satisfied. Then all the friends dispersed with ease, so Timkin went as quick as you please. Back to gleefully gobbling his cheese beneath the frou-frou trees. And this is who I think is responsible for all those itches. A lovely story. Have a wonderful day.